from United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. It's a country once known for famine, poverty, and war. But for Ethiopia's children, a brighter future is now emerging. Even in this remote western corner, more children are thriving beyond their fifth birthday. The village of Okura is isolated, cut off from transportation. In the rainy season, the river is the highway to the village. But now, people here can get much needed health care from one of their own. Health extension workers have worked to slash child mortality rates by half here in less than 10 years. They can check and treat for the biggest child killers like diarrhea, pneumonia, and malaria. They know what people need, and they know how to get the message across, especially to pregnant women. The health workers check immunization records and hygiene in homes like that of 22-year-old Ariette Niignio. Throughout Ethiopia, 38,000 health extension workers cover regions to give much-needed help. They're paid by the government and trained, equipped, and supported by UNICEF. Health extension worker Abang Obio. Ethiopia is on track to achieve one of the Millennium Development Goals, reducing deaths in children under five by two-thirds, in time for the 2015 deadline set by the UN. Dr. Gedit Shuwako, UNICEF immunization officer. Ten years ago, we used to see five under five kids per household. Now, in, after five years, a lot of people are using family planning. I tell you, the attitude of the male is really radical. I, I, I never thought this change would come uh, five years ago. Now, I tell you, uh, if one word is, is uh, perseverance, I think you can bring change. Even if, even if we are very poor, we can still bring a, a, a radical change, I tell you. The country will need to keep full steam ahead to meet new goals. But for now, the tide is turning for Ethiopia's children. This report was produced by Sarah Crow for the United Nations.